Welcome to this XAR video demonstrating how to replace the seals on your dual Vanos unit. This is a Vanos unit here. You can see the pistons within the cylinders. These are the original pistons with the OEM seals fitted. You can see they're a very loose fit in the cylinder. Um, this is what causes the vehicle faults. You can see here the original piston seals. These have deteriorated, um, leaving that loose fit. Our replacement seals are made from improved materials, made from Viton materials, so they can cope with the elevated and varying temperatures which the Venos experiences. You can see the fit here. It's a much tighter fit, which will resolve the problems with your vehicle. We should now demonstrate how to remove the Vanos unit from the engine. We're going to do it on an engine which we've got on the bench, um, just so we can show you all the angles and all the screws and various electrical connections that you need to remove. Um, on the actual vehicle, there will be various um, peripherals you'll need to remove, such as pollen filters and the front fan. Um, there's more information on our website showing how to remove those. First off, we remove the top covers. Um, let's just pry off blanking plates one, two, three, four. Underneath there'll be uh, 10 millimeter bolts, so just unscrew those and just lift off the left hand side cover, just undo the oil filler cap, take the cover off, I don't need to replace that. Remove the valve cover vent hose, this is very delicate, this pipe here, it's very fragile, so we don't want to put any pressure on that, you can see here, this one's already snapped. Um, what you need to do is push in on the connectors and just slowly wiggle that off, putting no pressure on this hose. That will allow you to remove that connector. You can now remove the coils on each of those. There's an electrical connector. You just push up on there and pull out the connector. I'll repeat the process for all of those. Remove this earth from here. Then you can set aside all the coil harness. Um, you just click into place. Just release the connectors. You can set that aside. Using a 10mm socket, we can remove the screws holding in the coils, two on each coil. We can then lift out each of the coils, um, remembering which order they go in. You can number them, one to six. Using an 8mm socket, remove the two earthen straps at either end of the engine. Remove any wires at the rear of the engine that prevent you from lifting off the valve cover. The wires fit in this groove here, you can just lift those out of the way just so they're not interfered with when removing the valve cover. Remove the 11 valve cover bolts. For each of these there is a washer and a grommet, so just make sure you remove all of that and keep those together. Again, it's good practice to remember the order of these for reinstallation. Using a 10mm socket again, if remove the four bolts in the centre of the valve cover. They're just the remaining bolts to remove the valve cover. On each bolt again, there's a washer and a grommet. Just make sure you retain both of those. We can now remove the valve cover. At the front of the cover, near the vein off unit, um, there's RTV sealant um, around these half moons. You just need to get a scraper in there, a thin blade, just to separate out that sealant. Release the front of the valve cover. Just, again, just do this all the way around, every accessible location, just to break the, the gasket seal. And now remove the valve cover. Just making sure the gasket comes with it. See in there. Set that aside. Remove all the electrical connectors from the Vanos unit. There's two here on the left and one up here on the right. This first one, we just push it in and release it. This one down here, you can see the metal clip. Just push the metal clip in and that pulls off. And the same again with the one on the right. Push the metal clip in, just pull that off and set the wire in the side. Take a 19mm spanner and remove the oil hose. That's a good idea to put a towel under there just to collect any oil that might spill. See on either side of the hose is a washer. Just retain those, remember that for reinstallation. Remove the engine lift bracket, 11mm, 
bolt at the top here and a 13 millimeter bolt at the bottom making sure to retain the washer and we can wiggle this bracket out of position using an 8 millimeter hex socket um, now remove the two bolts in the front of the vanos and make sure before you do that that you put a towel under this section here as oil will leak out of the Vanos unit and this one's been off a few times so it won't. Two piston caps within each cylinder, you can see that here. You can see there, these also suffer a problem with the seal so our kit includes uh, replacement seals for these uh, just to stop oil leaking past these. You can now remove the two Vanos mounting bolts um, inside here. Use a T30 Torx bit for this. This is a left hand thread, um, so you need to unscrew these by turning from left to right clockwise. Um, it's very important this step because they are quite delicate, those bolts. Um, when you break the first, first bit of the bolt, you want to make sure that the socket is dead straight because it's very easy to strip the heads. Um, if, if you do fail at this step, you can remove them later on when the Venus is removed. Then use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the Vanos holding bolts. These are located here. And finally, using a 13 mil socket, you can remove the final top bolt up here. We can now remove the Vanos unit. Just pull that forwards. Also, remove the gasket. idea just to cover this part of the engine whilst we're working on the vent. Using a 10 millimeter socket uh, remove the bolts holding on the face plates on the Venus. Um, when we've taken off this side um, it's sprung loaded so you just have to push against that and undo at the same time. You can diagnose the Venus failure just by feeling the, the pistons in the cylinder. You can see they're a very loose fit um, causing oil to seep past. This is what causes the vehicle faults. Remove those pistons and clean off all the oil. You can now remove the original seals from both of the pistons. Um, on each piston there is four seals, um, on top, one on top of each other for each of the grooves, so two there and two there. Just have to remove both of those before we install our new seals. See there, all the seals are removed. You'll be able to see metal in both of the grooves. If you can't, and there's still seals remaining, they need to be taken out. We can now insert our new seals. Um, there's two seals for each groove large groove and a smaller groove. First off goes on the O ring, and then the outside seal. Same for both the grooves. If you're in a cold environment, you can warm these up in warm water before installing. This makes getting them into the groove just that little bit easier. Take the two O rings, stretch the larger one over the top into that recess. Make sure that's seated in there. Repeat the process of a smaller O ring in the smaller groove. See that's seated in there. Repeat this process with the seals. These are a tight fit. Um, again, you can warm them up just to make fitting these a little bit easier. Just put them in warm water, remove them a second or so before putting them onto the piston. And I'm just drying them off first. See there, that's slowly going into position. I want this to twist, make sure it's not binding. You can see there, going to the groove nicely. 
Just check it all the way around to make sure it's straight and not twisted at all. Repeat the process for the smaller recess and the smaller seal. twisted. You should be able to spin these around a little bit in their recess. You can see the seals are successfully installed. Apply some of the oil to both the seals and the piston and also inside the cylinder. Just coat that, give it a good coating of oil. We can then um, put the piston back in the cylinder just to shape the seals to make sure they're all in there correctly. So we insert it at this sort of angle, just slowly Rotate it and shape the seal, make sure not to bind the seal. See that's a nice fit in there. Um, repeat the process for the top cover, again plenty of oil on both of the seals. Just check the fit and you can see that take shape and it will go into the cover nicely. To repeat the process for both of the pistons to shape in the seals, um, plenty of oil and you'll find they sit nicely both into the cylinder and into the cover. You can now reinstall the vein off unit, put the pistons back into the cylinders, remembering the spring on this cylinder. Just push against the spring and refit this cover. Tighten the 10 millimeter bolts in a crisscross pattern. Um, get a torque wrench and do these up to 10 newton meters in torque. Um, that concludes uh, the fitment of the seals. Um, now we'll replace the seals on the piston caps. You'll see here that the seals on the piston caps. Um, these again are made from a good, very good quality seal. And, They've flattened off. Uh, this can cause leaks. Um, our kit includes two seals to replace these. Um, we just cut off the old seal and fit our new seal. We can now refit the Vanos unit to the engine. Um, if you check out our pictorial instructions on our website, um, that will guide you through all the torque settings that you'll need uh, for refitting the Vanos unit. Um, that about concludes the repair of the seals. Um, if you need any further guidance, please feel free to telephone us on 01843. 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.